How's it going everybody and welcome back to another video. Check out what I just got in the mail. It is a black polymer filter sheet. A black polymer filter sheet. If that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. But what this is for, let me pull it out. I'm going to handle this as delicately as possible. But please don't crucify me in the comments because they don't do it to your liking. Alright. Now, I've already pulled this out, and it is quite delicate. There's a couple little wrinkles that ended up in it. But there's a silver side and a black side. So what this says is that the silver side faces the sun, and the transmission is one one thousandth of one percent of light transmission. But what I'm going to do is use that filter on the telescope to look at the sun, which isn't out today. And this was 8 or 15 or 10 bucks, something like that on Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to go play with your own. I've got this huge lens cap here that is the exact diameter of the barrel. So what I'm going to do is very, very carefully set this down right in the middle of this black polymer filter sheet. Anyways, basically my plan is to hold this in place and cut a few times around the perimeter so I can wrap it around the end of the telescope without it getting wrinkly. I hope this is how this is supposed to be done. Alright, so theoretically I should be able to very gently set this on top. Can you see my cut marks now? Alright, we're going to try tape first. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that, how that turned out. It may not be the most beautiful thing in the world, but uh, it's pretty flat across the face, and it's definitely not coming off. So while we wait for the sun to come out, I'm going to see if I can't figure out how many stops of light one one thousandth of one percent is. One one thousandth of one percent. So, one stop equals one half the amount of light you have. Okay? So if you've got 100% of light and you divide it by 2, it gives you one less stop, which gives you 50%. You divide that by 2 to get one more stop again, you then end up at 25%. So let's do the math here. Well, basically, it's just divided by two many, many times in a row. So we're going to start at 100%. That divided by two gives you 50%. Five, three. Okay, so now we were at the zero. We we're less than 1% here. So we have got the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands digit. As soon as this digit equals 1 and these two are 0, that's when we have reached 1 1,000 of 1%. One okay, right now we have reached 0 0.0015. So this is a little bit higher, and if we take that down one more, we end up at 0 0.00076. So let's figure this out. We've got 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and one half stops. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a lot higher than that, like twenty-five or thirty stops. But you can buy a fifteen-stop filter for pretty much any lens, so that kind of surprises me that this specific film that's made for looking at the sun 
is only two stops more than that. I don't think it matters what's in the foreground as long as I can... Golly! Yep, that's the sun. So today is a new day where the sun is out, but it's very windy, so excuse any wind noise that might be in this video. We've got the telescope set up and the sun. It's very bright out here. Well, I'm not sure that that's very exciting to look at, but I do believe you can see a sunspot right there. Oh. Sorry about the shakiness, that's the wind. I'll see if I can't stable this, stabilize this a little better. Right there, that's 60, the shutter speed is at 160th. ISO is 100. Gives you an idea of how dark this filter is. Let me uh, crank this back some more. That's a 125th exposure at ISO 100. I'm going to try and take a couple pictures here. Show you guys what they look like. Alright, well thanks for watching. That didn't seem as exciting as I thought it could have been. The sun was basically just a round, just a yellow circle in the sky. It was the sunspot though, so. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Join me in the next one.